Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin's price has been mainly consolidating today. Nothing too exciting going on there. Um, it is certainly not a very deep pullback. Um, at the same time, there is currently no indication that this correction is complete. Um, what happened? We had this potential triangle. It broke to the downside, retested the trend line from below, but it's basically just moving sideways. So it hasn't even made a new low afterwards. So we're hanging a little bit in there. Yeah, a bit of a uh, state of anticipation here at the moment. Um, it is technically, of course, possible that this wave for low is complete. But I would need to see a break above this green line at, oh, it's actually 44,000. Yeah, 44,000. Well, where exactly are we? Depending on how I measure, 44,070, this B wave higher. That uh, I would like to see the price get above that level to have an indication that a low has formed. Yeah, so that is a small breakout point. Not really a clear breakout point, but it would be a break above the last significant swing high, which I would call a B wave top. Um, and a break above that will be a first indication really that this wave four has bottomed. Is that already, you know, crystal clear confirmation that the wave four has bottomed? No, I would like to see another break above the next swing high thereafter, which is here at around $44,280, followed by 44,505 USD. So we need to take these out, but um, it's always worth knowing what the first level is that would suggest that the current correction is over. And that's typically a break above a B wave high. So as you can see, however, on the chart, um, the support region down there goes all the way down to $40,400. So that means, you know, there is plenty of space. Technically, technically, without invalidating the current wave count, um, the price has a lot of space, a lot of space. The price could technically still move down another, where are we? 7%, uh, 65 to 7% without invalidating this current scenario. Ideally, we don't even go that low. Ideally, only maybe a dip into support or just triggering the 38.2 retracement down there at 41,330. Um, even though, you know, it, does, it doesn't need to go down that much. So we're hanging in there. Um, I need to see a break above the mentioned levels to confirm that the fifth wave to the upside has started. The current pullback structurally looks quite corrective. So it doesn't, it certainly doesn't look um, impulsive to the downside. And that's good because you have a lot of ugly, messy, overlapping price action that suggests further trend continuation higher. I already explained in the last video that I assume that we will head sort of towards 46, 47 K next, um, possibly then in this way five and preferably after the price has dipped into the support area. Why that level? How, how do I get to 46, 47 K? Well, it is not a crystal clear target yet, um, but it is when we take the length of the wave one, then we go to the low of the wave four. Now that's the current low. If the price goes a little lower, that target will shift a little bit. But the 100% extension, which is a very, very common target then for a fifth wave, that's how you can define or get to a potential target for the fifth wave um, within that larger third wave. Um, one common target is the 100% extension level, and that is at $46,280. Um, surely extensions, further extensions are always possible, but we are looking for the most probable targets. Yeah. Um, does it mean after getting there, you know, the overall uptrend is over? No. The wave count suggests we have a little bit more room to go. Actually, the Elliott wave count suggests further upside with only shallow pullbacks. Okay, so um, wave fours are shallow as well. And then a wave, a wave five. Um, and then another wave four, you know, another wave five, another wave four, and so on. So only shallow pullbacks. So nothing bearish on the horizon at the moment. We haven't even managed to pull back really into the support area. Um, that's how, let's say, bullish Bitcoin still is. Can always change, but for now, um, as far as we can see, 
Bitcoin is struggling to even move into the micro support. And it takes a break below 40,400, which is our 50% retracement level of the micro support. It takes a break below that level to indicate that we are um, already in the larger degree fourth wave here. Yeah. And to indicate that this third wave has already topped. At the moment, my primary scenario would be that we are still in that larger third wave there and get basically at least one more high in that third wave next to 46 to 47k, possibly even higher. Um, and what I'm counting here or what I show here is basically the yellow wave count. The yellow wave count is um, leading into the area between 50 and 65k. Um, it is not necessarily bearish and I'm only using the yellow wave count at the moment to track the microstructure because it is the same micro count as the white structure, which is the very directly bullish one. The thing is though that, um, because it's the same micro count, it doesn't matter which color the count has. Yeah. So if something is moving up in the yellow or white count, it doesn't matter to me. It's both is an, is an uptrend. Um, I track, yeah, I mean, different uh, scenario, different support levels on the chart, two support levels, but they both indicate bullishness, especially as long as we're holding above 34K. And um, <clears throat> after we have moved into this area between 50 and 65K, at least that's at the moment where I assume we should get to, um, that is sort of when in the pullback afterwards, yeah, we will see probably if we are dealing with the white wave count, which can take us in a more direct fashion to 100K plus, whether that is working out or the yellow wave count, which should then break below support at some point. But that's why we're tracking the support levels to understand if the parameters of the current uptrend are still being fulfilled. So the white count is actually the preferred one and well, the primary one, because this one will be tested first. So if their support level breaks, then we know it's likely the yellow count. Okay, so hopefully that um, is clear. That's really my update about Bitcoin. Not much going on. So I hope you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. You can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.